Uh, open 2020 is going to be huge as well. But speaking of 2020 and being huge, we've got a young lady here tonight that I think is going to make 2020 lit. And this is none other than Toela. How are you doing, Toela? Hi. Okay, nice to have you on the show. Great to be here. Okay. Now, uh, I think you're an interesting one because you've got a very interesting uh, background. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. Okay, personally, you've got a brand new song. Yes. Um, yeah, that is doing so well. Features Sheffy and uh, uh, Maktou. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about that song, first of all. You wrote the song? Uh, no, I didn't write it completely. I had uh, a friend of mine co write it, Frank. I felt I needed um, a different sound to blend with mine so I can have something that's me, but that, mm -hmm. that other people can relate to as well. Okay. It's a bit young, you know, and with time. Well, uh, who's a bit young? You or huh? a friend? No, my sound is a bit like reserved and old, so I needed someone to like freshen up my sound. Talk about reserved and old, because you're not old yourself, so it's a bit strange. So you've been in the game for a while, that's what you're saying in there. I should think so. Yeah? I should think so. Okay, so what was happening to you? How come we're kind of like hearing you now? I think we heard you on a Mm -hmm. Sheffy, I think we double on Sheffy. The first kind of early days of the song uh, that you did with Sheffy. Oh, I was in high school, I think. Okay. <laughs> I was in high school. I think it's just a matter of time. I think maybe the timing is more perfect now because mm. I feel every artist has their space and I feel maybe this is the right time, okay. you know. I'm not going to attribute to any... At the end of the day, you need to make people know who you are as a person so then they appreciate what you do because mm. then if they fall in love with the person on stage and they never know the real you they'll be like who's that you know so it's better they learn who you are in your most genuine self so then even if you come in different versions or you evolve into something else mm. they still understand the type of person that you are Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're a smart one. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go on a break. When we get back, we meet the rest of the family, uh, Maktou and Sheffy, and just find out how these guys were growing up, who was singing the most, who made the most yeah. noise, who, <laughs> who did what <laughs> after the break. Hey, follow <laughs> Hello, I tell you when I kill it, I'm a Phone call this time, I hope kill it, I'm a lady. She lay on fuck off at the brother, I'm not a fan. I'm a pandela and no benji, come in and move back for. Tabaka poko la lunch pack, I'm not a fan. Baka moli nebo ni mpolo me na kumoru. Njebe the sister say no more, I'm a pandi moon, she don't fun a pet, I'm a sleeve. It's your lotion, I'm a kusun shira. Even if she kill it, it's a menga na fi koko. Sister nan kwebe, they pull easy fi fi koko. Mo short time, na di fi ka muka bu. One man military, no if I'm a gundi. Knock, knock, who's there? I know it's you. Nin so kubeke sha sister back kumako. Fuego takwa bati yoni nebo mulamu. Imbama fe imwamba mbweke shenin salamu. Mbweke shenin salamu na shun se shumade diamo. Fona imya fe kashino kambo fwele labo. Ah, labo, ah. Fimu fya kulo le shafi na kupo konyomo tu, po konyomo tu, na kupo konyomo tu. Fimu kule lo le shafi na kupo konyomo tu, po konyomo tu, na kupo konyomo tu. Fimu fya kulo le shafi na kupo. Awa shuf, shuf, awa shuf, shuf, awa shuf, shuf, awa shuf. You see, I hide your mind in this tolo dia satana. Panomba chamu tuala fibo tolo dia savana. Kafia malava pa fiolo waluvana. Mulandu wabu puwa wama folo wamu kana. Mprash pa kufale mba suicide nota ikona weo. Eo kuko shumfa ino kune mwana wanshiwa. Chiwa wanshila. Gopshe mo sana na patari ya fonshila. Ndefelu kana ima na ikunta. Bakelu kana ine nine kunta. Kinte, inso kushi mutinte Hey, hey, na mpoketi mufife Kwa sukuba kadango lefabu boloko Every other day, kwa botolote Kutunga na ma knife, na ma foloko Fide wa benjomba nolo toloko Fimu fya kulole shafi na kupoko nyomo tu Poko nyomo tu, na kupoko nyomo tu Fimu kule lole shafi na kupoko nyomo tu Poko nyomo tu no kupoko nyomo tu Fimo fya kolole shafi na kupoko Awa shuf Awa shuf Awa 
All righty, welcome back. This is Smooth Talker Now. It's a family affair. We're talking to Tawela, the youngest of the Cairo family. And uh, uh, for now, the eldest, I think, for now, is uh, MK Matutu. Yeah, I, I, guess, I guess I should have sat, should that have sat side, on the other side. Just so <laughs> in that order. <laughs> How you doing, okay? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, uh, nice that you've come because mm. you always, you know, make time to come through to the show. I'm just uh, putting it out there. You know. The loyal one in the family. Thank you very much. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the disloyal one. In the family. <laughs> oh Shep, you welcome the program. Ah, thank you For so the much. very first time ever, ever. Ever. Yeah. 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 You know, we thought we thought it would be nice. I had to go through uh, your brother because I said, you know, I just can you just tell him to come? Oh, yeah, no it? compromise. So yeah, I think I think he did his job. I yeah. bribed him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he had to be bribed in there. Yeah. And then there's a song where you talk about TV Yandi Nomba. So what, which TV did you talk about? Because oh, it's not ZNBC. <laughs> <TV, laughs> <TV, laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> and uh, I didn't uh, understand uh, that. Uh, uh, like, uh, like a deaf, uh, blind uh, person. Yeah, person. Yeah, 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 Kutambika for TV, so gamma. Oh, Kutambika! This is wow. No, I never understood it. I was like, what does it mean, Kutambika? Where's the connect? Okay, cool. All right. Um. So yeah, special welcome to you. You know. Ah, thank you so much. Appreciate. Thank you very much. Appreciate. Um. So yeah. So talking to Wella here. Um. Let me tell you what I what I like about you guys. For 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 to begin with, I think she's immense. She's got voice. She can. She can. She's she's dance hall. She can sing everything so you really got it together and i saw your performance also you can move huh? so yeah that tells me something too <laughs> now thank you here's the way you are you guys my perspective uh -huh. you're very very complete you, you do everything mac is complete in that he's he's, he's even got his own dance you, we all know how you can do mac to his dance. <laughs> and this guy uh, what he lacks in dancing <laughs> makes up for in whatever rhymes he makes and all that stuff oh, yeah. so so he, he doesn't talk much on stage this guy got a lot to say <laughs> he can say a lot of things and and, and, and and also he can relate to what's going on and, and you know and, and 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 preach it like that which yeah. is a good thing he he doesn't have much to say on stage so he lets the music speak <laughs> so yeah. he would just say chan that chan then back to the song <laughs> <laughs> so um I, I, again for me is that if, if you're not going to have so much to say and do on stage yeah. perform because uh, mm. after all that's what, what they're for mm -hmm. to see you perform so you do your thing like that and if you're going to talk on stage we'll know what to say because then we want yeah. then we're like can we listen to your music <laughs> already yeah. you know what so, so i think you guys are blessed like that because you you, you know your craft on stage yeah, yeah, but i'm impressed with her because i think that she she really combines the whole lot of you guys mm. now Thanks. let's talk about growing up though uh, so mark too you decided to uh, to, to, to rap. I don't know. When you're growing up, firstly at home, mm -hmm. who started with the music? It was you. What was happening? It was actually my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> your older brother? Wow. Okay, anyway. Oh, where is he? Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so, um, of course, uh, we've all, always loved music. And um, I remember um, I had this book where I used to write Tupac lyrics and what, 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 yeah. and he had, he had one too. Um, but I think my, my older brother was the first person who kind of recorded some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instrumental <laughs> tape and recorded some stuff. But he never even got to a point where he recorded something like in a studio or whatever. Yeah. I think I was the first person who 
uh, in the family to record something in a studio. Okay. Speaking on his behalf, because obviously I guess we'll never have him on the show. Yeah. Why do you think he didn't? Why, what what happened? Didn't he have? Didn't he have it? Because evidently it's running, <laughs> it's running in the family. So what happened? What do you think happened? What does he say? Oh man, I think um, he's the firstborn, so obviously. Um, Responsibility. Yeah, he had. Yeah, that, he, that he couldn't experiment with yeah. what he was going to become, especially that by then this is like ninety eight, ninety nine. By then, music wasn't as glorified as it is now. Now you have a lot of kids who just feel like eh, I'll just go to the studio and record a song. But then it was like people. It was really like a profession. You know what I mean? Like you really had to be musical mm -hmm. to 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 go to the studio and write. Anyway. Um, even the times when I just started um, making music, obviously, when he finished school, he went, he went to college and only joined when, um, when he came back. Mm. Same with her. Yeah. She went to school and, you know what I mean? But for some reason, uh, I guess I had room to experiment. <laughs> uh, when I finished school, I felt like, this is really what I was meant to do, yeah. you know. Um, because of my dad, I always wanted to, because of our dad, mm. I always wanted to be an accountant. But yeah. in high school, <laughs> I was bad at math. <laughs> and I didn't <laughs> want to spend the rest of my life really struggling. <laughs> so uh, by the time I was finishing school, I knew I was really good at making music. And yeah, I opted mm. to do that. Okay. All right. So, so, you, so, you, so you left home to, do, to pursue your music. Oh, well, how did how did it happen? Because became, I, I think I've heard a story <laughs> where like you were sit, staying with some guy. He, he actually became a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Uh, I remember, I remember our aunt, who was our guardian by the time, saying, "I think there's something wrong with your brother. He's talking to himself." <laughs> 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 so those were times when when he, he could be in a room rapping, and, yeah. and she thought he was talking to himself. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so eventually, so you so you eventually left home to do your thing to try and pursue. Yeah, but I didn't really leave home in in mm. in in that way. Like I was never like um, a troubled child who used to trouble or fiashi problem child. Mm. Uh, in fact, I um, one of my cousins um, got married to this guy called Yox Chiokoma, Vayoka. Oh, Bayoka. <coughs> yeah, and um, I went to stay with them because okay. um, he had like a lot of interest in music. He was like a music promoter for um, Bob Mabege and a few others. So when I went to stay with him, because I knew like okay, he was going to at least allow it or tolerate mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So me and him formed Danger Zone. Okay. Yeah, that was the beginning. And so you had all these videos where. We, you know what we used to think? Like you put a camera, like that, that camera there, and then you just start rapping. On Definitely. Your own. Was well, that the case? My own, <laughs> own, <laughs> my own camera person, my own editor, my own director, everything. Yeah, it yeah. looked that way. And I said, this guy, is, this guy is just in front of a camera. There's no one behind. <laughs> oh, man, but you're pushing, man. You're we made it work. We made it work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, that's what, 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 do you, what do you think? What was a breakout song, do you think, that everybody now stood up to look at? I know the breakout video that we saw, we know, uh, this is why I'm hot. So I'm like, who's this guy, you know? Yeah, and the funny thing is, like, this is maybe 10 years, 11 years mm. from This Is Why I'm Hot. Because I, I, I remember I won uh, an award for the <laughs> most controversial <laughs> video yeah. for This Is Why I'm Hot. But even before that, because believe me, any upcoming artist will tell you, when you're on TV, you've made it. Oh. Or at least it feels that way. Yeah. So mm. there's a lot of time before, before that. that like the first studio recording was in 2002 so for me to put out that song in 2007 that's yeah. five years of just <laughs> grinding mm, but yeah. the beauty about it is um it was like a gradual process mm. i had a song that was big in the house song that was big <laughs> in the neighborhood a uh, song that was big in chingola on the copper belt till this is why i'm hot yeah but i still don't consider it like my breakout song my breakout song is really like um, Mami Niu Uze Uta Funika. This is oh, 2011. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like one song where I'm like, everywhere you go, everywhere around the country, people know the song. Yeah. No, that, is, that, was, that was huge. Really, even now, you, it's the song you listen to, you know. Even, even when I'm running out of videos to put, I'm like, okay, the videos that we have today <laughs> for the throwback, because I have to play everything, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So sometimes it's like, I'm not feeling this. Okay, which one can I? 
Uh, this same one. Because <laughs> I know it's, it's everybody's singing to it. So, yeah, yeah that was a huge mm -hmm. one. Um, let's talk, let's talk a bit about Chefy also. Uh, you, you mm -hmm. also equally took your time. I, I watched some of your old videos. Uh, I think, is that one three, three or something? Or is it oh, two, yeah. two? That, that, that was, was two, two, and it was three, three. <laughs> <laughs> what, three, three, now it's John Bodo Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so growing up, our parents didn't really approve of us doing music. Mm. So there could be times when, when him and, and, and a couple of friends would be in the house recording when, when our parents are, are not around. And there was that guy that used to stand by the, the window or, or, <laughs> or by the gate, just looking out oh, for... Oh, you're checking out for the yeah, parents? Yeah, looking out okay. for our parents in case they... <laughs> they are coming or something. If they come, oh, so 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 you're not even listening to what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so I was that guy for a very long time. Yeah. And um, I remember thinking to myself to say, this guy has it all. So why, why, is, it, why is he not putting me on? Oh. And he was putting on people like James Dees. Uh, <laughs> just just a, lot of, a lot of other people. So I was that guy who was just there. And, yeah. and finally, my, my time came. Uh, but no. did he know? Did he know that you 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 liked music? Yes, uh, I had been in, I had been recording for a very long time. My first recording uh, was in 2005. Oh. Yeah, with a studio called Takeover in Chingon. Uh Yeah, so it took me a lot of years for for people like him to, to start putting <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, but well, I want to ask that question though. So, <laughs> Mark, what were you what were you looking at him and thinking? Say, actually, isn't it? But now, let him chill. What was <laughs> The truth is, she said it, um, I think everyone has their time. And um, I sent you emails like in 202 or 203, <laughs> and I never got a reply. And uh, really, <laughs> no, 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 no real, real talk. When I go yeah. back to my email and listen back to those songs that I sent you, yeah. I would have never replied myself, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Because, like, the songs were bad. They were... <laughs> So I think um, even for him to get to that point where, okay, now you're ready to go out there or, or to showcase, mm -hmm. I think it has to be in a place where um, you're no longer sounding like an amateur and art, 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 art. So obviously, um, like any profession, no matter how gifted you are, you have to work on your craft. Yeah. You have, there's a lot of people think it's easy, but there's a lot of work that goes um, in behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Um, she's been for, for, for li um, doing these live band performances for, for years, you know what I mean? And now, like, it's, it's, it's the right time because at least she's, she's known how to interact with people, how to make music, how to vocalize. She knows so much. We're trying to make timeless music. Cool. All right. Okay, Chef, you, you got a brand new album as well. Yeah. Uh, I've always thought, you know, that <laughs> yours must have been a... An interesting one because you had such a huge album previously yeah. and then to, to go in the studio do you guys have pre i know i've asked mark before and you know i know his response i want to hear yours do, do you feel pressured with uh, when you when you are you have an immense album that everybody was talking about and people singing literally mm -hmm. word for word then now you go back in the studio how does it work uh, for me personally I, I yes i get to feel a lot of pressure uh which is why the album is called bon appetit because uh I understood the fact that Amnesia was a very huge album, which was su successful uh, financially. Yeah, I think, I think it was. It must have been. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I was trying to tell people to say, this is just music. Enjoy it for what it is. Don't be too critical of it. Oh, or, okay. And don't, don't compare it to, to, to the previous album, which yeah. is Amnesia, which is why I'm saying bon appetit. Just enjoy. Just, just enjoy. Yeah, enjoy the meal. But you must be impressed because I think it has <coughs> done exceptionally well. Yeah, it, it's actually done more than, than Amnesia yeah. did. So, uh, yeah, again, if we are to go into another album, I would still feel the same pressure <laughs> because I feel like I, I always need to... But let's, okay, as we close, let's talk about singles as well. You, again, you seem to do singles, you guys. Every time you're featuring with this one, you're... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I know I, I, I'm going to ask it for the people yeah. because I, you know, as I've always said, you know, for instance, it's very difficult to ask, let's say, Messi, how he dribbles. Yeah. I, I don't think he thinks. I think he just dribbles because it's in him, you yeah. know. So I don't know that for you guys it's a, it's a big deal, but for uh, some of us who don't sing, obviously, we think, mm. so somebody comes and says, I've got this song. All of a sudden, you've got an idea of how you should come out. Because <laughs> every song, you, your lines, you guys seem to be 
you know, well put together. So I'm thinking, though, how does that happen? You just listen to a song and you get stuff to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I think the best, the best music is music that, that just comes to you. The best music is music that just writes itself, music that comes organically. And uh, I try my best to not think too much and just allow the natural process to, to, to uh, uh, happen. Okay. So there's no specific format of how to go about it. Yeah, well, I kind of thought that way. <laughs> 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 All right, same I guess, Mark, too. It just, it just happens. It just, it's a song, so. Uh, yeah, and uh, you let the music speak to you. Um, it's actually um, easier when someone, you know, comes with a song and says, okay, um, oh. here's a song I want you to, to do a verse in it, because they already have, oh, there's like, a direction um, already. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, if it's me creating a song from scratch, obviously there must be some inspiration behind the song. Now we saw you in Big Brother, you know, trying, creating music from scratch. Uh, <laughs> and you, I, I would see at times you don't even want to be talked to because you're <laughs> like, oh, that's the process right there. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a very talented family, huge. Mm -hmm. And credit to your brother, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Penja. <laughs> <laughs> you know? At El, El Mariachi. El Mariachi. <laughs> Everybody calls you <himself. laughs> So you guys are living his dream, man. But I think he's done a tremendous job. You know, yeah, at times we much. forget uh, the role that our... Our, our brothers or sisters play, mm -hmm. you know, and because for instance, I, I spoke to Peterson, you know, and, and this elder sister is the yeah. one who was musical in the family, and yeah. she's not that musical herself now, mm -hmm. but but I, I, I hope she understands that she opened it up for, 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 for the other guys. Yeah. Because other yeah. than that, we at times we forget how much influence we, we, we get from the one ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so even standing by the gate waiting for him <laughs> was our uh, influence so, somehow, and yeah, sitting in the studio watching was a lot of influence as well so yeah too, too much okay guys so thanks a lot you know and uh yeah hugely talented i think zambia is blessed in that sense to have you guys because Thank you. Thank you we're so guaranteed much, of uh music you know generations yeah. of music still coming through mm. Thank you. Alrighty, we do this we go on a break when we get back we'll be talking to steve ball and also we got a young lady that went to represent the country out in kenya but our story getting to kenya and coming up with an award uh or is it a a sachet and whatever else comes with that is a interesting one for you. Up to game, you. Ladies and gentlemen. Young chef. I'm never fed up of talking to you, man. See me, my lady. See this. Nika kula ka soche, kafu nika kasili le pali we. Ukamai jasi kuchina kumana, ukali chemu mutu mwanga, baby. And I'm never giving up on you until I know how you feel for me. Mama raised a strong woman, but she's lost in your laughter, identity, smile, hopelessly in love with you. But she don't know if you do. Cause you make my heart beat. Dile, eh, 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 eh. Dile, eh, 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 eh. My heart beat. Dile, eh, 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 eh. Dile for you. Dile for you. Dile, eh, 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 eh. Dile, eh, 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 eh. My heart beat. Dile, eh, 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 eh. Dile for you. Hey, Tell her the feeling is mutual. We're so for Shimona for no too low. Naga, you boy, you be a femo con too low. Kabila Payino. Have lips for me or not? Only pass a chain my high hopes, and I don't want to be hurt. I got no time for that dirt. I don't wanna be hurt, especially by you. No.
Tell me black face, see me good, good. A big bumper with me, yep, you can see me now. Put me now, up in my locks it down. Boy, come tell me that you want me now. You really know, that me pray you know. Cause you're me now. For you, delay for you. 